At last, somebody is talking sense. Now, first of all, my experience as a police has been exemplary. Uh, they've been there when I've needed them, which is thankfully hardly ever. And the officers that I have dealt with have been nothing but respectful. But thank goodness for the new Home Secretary, Suella Brotherman, who is putting a halt to all the woke brigade nonsense. She told police chiefs to spend less time on diversity and concentrate on fighting crime. Mrs Brevman wrote, Unfortunately, there is a perception <clears throat> that the police have had to respond to, uh, to spend too much time on symbolic gestures than actually, than actually fighting criminals. This must change. Initiatives on diversity and inclusion should not take precedence over common sense policing. Hear, hear, thank goodness, hallelujah. I mean, she's got a point. Let's start with taking the knee in support of Black Lives Matter, the far left Marxist extreme pressure group. Do what you like in your spare time. But whilst you're policing the streets, the last thing I want to see is you in such a vulnerable position as on your knees, losing all credibility in the false belief that you are showing your support against racists. Advice, by the way, to anyone who wants to prove that they're not racist is it's easy. Just don't be racist and treat others as you'd like to be treated. No amount of kneeling can achieve that. And when you come across people being racist, especially officers in your own force, call them out. Then there's the rainbow helmets, laces and face paint and all that. For example, Superintendent James Sutherland with his rainbow helmet, which he wore in support of anti-homophobia campaigns in Cambridge. Look, I don't care what anyone's sexual preference is, and frankly, it's none of my business. But I don't want to see the police compromising their ability to do their jobs by taking part in proceedings of an event that they are supposed to be policing. It's just common sense to do a job effectively. They have to be distanced in some way. It's just like being a parent. And when you can't even get a policeman to turn up for a burglary, it sticks in my craw that five will show up after a tweet that may have hurt someone's feelings. And it doesn't really help with the odd rogue officer damaging their reputation further. There was the murder of marketing executive Sarah Everard by a London officer. And then there's been a handful of other racist and homophobic incidents. On the whole, police are clearly a talented, dedicated bunch. Look at how seamless Her Majesty's funeral was. But it is time to shift the focus from this all-consuming woke and focus on giving out police what they need to get the job done. So, put your money where your mouth is, Suella. Reopen police stations. Increase investment. Simplify procedures to release officers from behind the desk to back on the beat. Can you blame them for doing the jobs that are maybe a little bit easier? I mean, there's probably far too much paperwork involved in the other stuff. She is right on many levels, but whilst I agree with her comments, a Martin Luther King quote springs to mind. It's all right to tell a man to lift himself by his own bootstraps, but it is cruel jest to say to a bootless man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. Suella, given the bootstraps, just make sure they're not rainbow laces.